A brief word on the different kinds of mathematical statements. A general mathematical statement is called a proposition. We propose that something is true, and then we explain why it is. For example, proposition. Drinking bleach is very bad for you. Proof. Opens a bottle of bleach, glug, 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 dies. End of proof. I have proposed that that was true, and I proved it. Now note, it's traditional to use some sort of symbol at the end of a proof. It, it's very nice in a book if you can, you see something, prove it, and then you're like, oh my gosh, how, how long is it going to take to prove this? And you look for the little square, and that tells you where the proof is done. Sometimes you write end of proof, sometimes you just write the little square. The, the fancy pants people say QED, which stands for quad erat demonstrandum, which means which was what was to be demonstrated. In other words, the thing that you wanted to prove. By drinking a bottle of bleach and dying, you prove that drinking bleach is not good for you. Now, if and any anything that you prove in mathematics could be called a proposition, but if you call it a theorem, you're saying it's extra special. It comes from the, the Greek word theorema, meaning spectacle, or perhaps to speculate, to suggest. But I prefer to think it means something worth looking at, something like a spectacle, like, hey, check this out. It's a theorem. Now, sometimes we want to prove something small before we get to a big pr theorem. We're going to use it as proof, and it usually tends to be kind of long and tedious to prove, but it's not all that exciting all by itself. So you don't call it a theorem, you call it a lemma, which comes from the Greek word meaning, well, the Greek word lemma, meaning something taken for granted. They don't get very much respect, lemmas. There will be one later on in this, in this series of videos. Now, when we have just proven a theorem, sometimes we immediately can prove something else with almost no work. And this is called a corollary, from the Latin word corollaria, meaning a deduction or a consequence. So uh, corollaries, sometimes you have several corollaries. And the proofs are really, really short. You say proof by the thing we just did. Now, good mathematics tends to look like this. We say definition theorem proof. You define some new term. Maybe you have some sort of lemma that's boring and technical. You prove it, and then you have the theorem. Usually using the new term, you prove the theorem, often with a lemma if you have a lemma. And then a corollary comes afterward using the theorem.